South Sudan taking on Eritrea and South Sudan win the tip off bench because it didn't start. Ball swings to the left corner and just like clockwork, yes. Uh, and it, indeed it is a turnover, lead pass. And it's too easy, Kwani Kwani getting on the scoreboard. That's the easiest basket I, I guess he's going to get today. Great lead, 21 point lead in the second quarter. I think that's the aim today, get that lead then just maintain it. Driving baseline, nice. Couldn't hold it, pass was too hot. Abebe having trouble dribbling the ball and finding a teammate. Kind of get the feeling that uh, Eritrea needs to take care of the ball. As soon as I say that, they take a very quick three-pointer there. Israel Mulugeta, no luck for him. Ball swings to port. Nice ball movement by South Sudan. They need to be careful there. Look at some of the highlights from this Eritrean side. They're not giving up on any play. Second chance opportunities there. But it's just a three-point lead so far. Nice entry pass there. And that's what South Sudan needs. Coach Aldo was not happy at all in that timeout, Fidel. And um, he knows that South Sudan can do so much better. They have the height advantage. Then you take, use that. Be more aggressive going to the hoop. And we can see number four. Jong of in life, keep it simple and good things will follow. Speaking of simple, back ball taking a nice high screen and, and sticking a two-pointer. That then Israel corner is going to take a deep three. No good. Nyang with the rebound. Ball with the ball. Can't see a cut in. Philip Dominic. He acknowledges that mistake. That's great that defense from uh, Bilal, making sure that he tips that ball or taps that ball away when, before it comes up. It's a foul on the floor. Guilty party is Andoma Bebe. Let's take another look at that beautiful drive, hesitation move, all the way to the basket. Got everyone up in the air. And ball goes to the free throw line to shoot two free throws. And, uh, they're not falling as they were falling yesterday. You have to Str know. Struggling a bit, struggling a bit from the free throw line. Uh, I mean, what's what's great about these week long tournaments, Fidel, is that you don't always see the team perform the same way. Back ball, thought about the shot for a minute. Kick it out, long distance three, and it's back to back three pointers. Philip Dominic showing us his entire repertoire. Um, I think they could have done it in the first quarter, to be honest, but my goodness, before we talk anymore. <laughs> and you can see a smile has finally cracked on Lowell Deng's face. <laughs> He likes what he sees. And they're off on a fast break again. Kicks it out for a three-pointer. In and out. No good. Rebound there. And a nice reverse layup there by number seven, Wek Nyang. And South Sudan are turning up the heat. Long distance three. Israel. No good. Big rebound there. Kwani Kwani. Ball goes to... <laughs> <laughs> Dang my yacht. And the South Sudan have put their foot on the gas and they're not slowing down anytime soon. Well, my goodness. Back ball. Trying to take the wind out of the sails. Why why kill the momentum like that? Oh, nice behind the back pass there. Number 11, Aaron Zacharias misses there, but guess who's back there to help him? Andoma Bebe back there against Somalia. South Sudan have cranked up the defensive heat once again. Steal from McQuay. Oh! Behind the back dunk. Excuse me, sir. <laughs> We're just trying to do our... McQuay with the reverse 
dunk. Let's take another look. Oh my goodness. So pretty, so pretty. Getting the coverage that uh, he deserves after he was uh, consistent with the jump of 50 to 21. We swing the ball back. Air ball there. Not the greatest shot selection. He was trying to shoot under pressure. Oh, nice put back there, but no joy for him this time round. They're off to the races. The Saritian side. Matiang from way downtown. He carries on from where he left off in the first quarter. Same spot. This is high. Nowhere to go. Looking for a teammate. Finds one. Has put up the shot very quickly. Mengistu coming up with the ball. Driving all the way to the basket. And it... A nice, kind roll. Beautiful finger roll finish. Another steal for the South Sudan side. Mangistu goes up, misses that one. Scooped back by Emmanuel. Officially scored more points than they scored against Somalia yesterday. And South Sudan again proving why they are the favorites in this tournament. Uh, somebody, it's interesting that you say that somebody commented on our post yesterday on Facebook and uh, said people think South but as they say until the final buzzer they've been shooting exactly. 50 something percent yeah. uh, from the three point line look at their fast breaks it's not all dunks and, and dominating in the paint yeah. you know so we have to give credit where credit is due as Abebe gets a nice open lay in scent from three in the first half, Fidel. Nice look there, but 9% won't cut it in this competition. We've seen there Israel with the rebound. Richard trying to push the tempo. Having trouble handling the ball. Nice solid screen there, but the ball goes out of bounds. Turnover by the... Um, making sure that they're just attacking the rim, drawing in the defense getting that foul these are the easiest points anyone can score and uh then you take full advantage of that abiel zeru making his first free throw misses the second one Mangis two to back ball. Back ball trying to turn the corner. Gets the ball to number four. Mangis two. And the shot doesn't count. Frustration on the faces. of the South Sudanese team, back ball, making his second free throw. Nice dribble. Top of the key. Number 12, Daniel. And an air ball again. They need to try and just take the ball to the cup. Force a foul or something. The shots are really not working at this point of the game. They really aren't. But I would say on both sides, uh, Fidel, I don't know what's going on with the third quarter, but South Sudan have also been struggling as we see uh, Wek Nyang slow to get up. South Sudan only scored seven points in this quarter so far, Fidel. Wow. They had 63 at the half. Eight points now after that free throw from Buck Ball. Mm. And that's low considering that they're at us. Daniel Zemeherit. He's had a very good game today. Mm -hmm. Hence me saying James, confusing him with LeBron James for a second or two. <laughs> 
ball movement par excellence for this South Sudanese team. Philip Dominic with an air ball. Ritra come out with the possession. A chance to just redeem themselves, play this quarter for pride. Daniel finds a cutting teammate there. Aaron Zacharias, no luck for him this time. Philip Dominic coming up with the ball. And they lose it again. Oh, nice behind the back dribble. And he had to pass it to Abiel Zeru. Why? I was so <laughs> sure that he was going to go all the way. I mean, why pass the ball out? You've beat your defender. You have a good look at the hoop. Just go all the way in. Finish. Too strong. Ubanda Eritrea. Bilal has to cross the line. He does that. Number 18 there, Samuel Johannes. No joy for him. They try to save the ball. The ball goes out of bounds. South Sudan ball. Nice effort there by the recently introduced Samuel Johannes. Some of the fans who've just trickled into the stadium. Supporting the team regardless of the score. Ball to Dominic. Dominic with another turnover. Off to the races. Three against one. But a nice tip in there by number 11, Aaron Zechariah, staying with the ball, not giving up. I'm pretty sure that block is going to discourage any more drives from <laughs> a richer who already struggling with that level of confidence. But still, a good thing happened. Aaron Zacharias was able to tip it back in. Yes. Every player gets blocked at any point of their career, so it's shouldn't be scared of that. Nice heads up play there by South Sudan. Quick basket off an inbound. 84 to 49, 654 to go. Johannes. Daniel. They lose the ball again. And that was a sloppy turnover. But Daniel manages to recover. With authority. McQuay. Merciless. Punishing the rim. My goodness. It's a miracle that rim is still standing, Fidel. Dunked so hard, my train of thought derailed. Let me tell you, that young man has a bright future in this game. And a foul on Emmanuel Malo on number 23, Andom Abebe, or they call it the other way. So an offensive foul on the Andom Abebe. South Sudan ball, 92 to 49. Three-point shot by Dominic. And they can do more than just dunk the basketball. Trying to answer back is the richer through Israel. Turning the corner there, number 10, Abel Johannes. No luck for him. Another three-point attempt, no joy. Emmanuel with a nice lead pass. Turnover intercepted there by Abiel Zeru. They find a cut in Israel. Easy peasy. It was a nice move and decision from Israel. For a moment, I thought it was going to take that three-point shot, but the baseline drive was definitely the better choice. And I'd like to see a lot more of that from him in the future nice. games. As, oof, Dominic showing us that he can get up there too. Mengistu with a three-pointer. Come away with a nice fast break. Very quick layup there by number four, Bilal Abdu Salam. You want to give the South Sudanese players any chance to block that shot. 3.14 to go. Five points to a century mark for this South Sudanese team. And another three-pointer from the wing. Emmanuel Malou. Malou the standing at 6.9. Currently playing in Australia for the Aubrey Bandits. I'm sure he dominates in that league as well. It's 
going to be tough to find an MVP for this tournament, Fidel. I'll tell you what. There's just so many options. It's uh, good problems to have. Israel in the wing. This time, baseline drive is denied. Abiel gets it to Abebe, who tries to go all the way. It's snatched by back ball. Ball gets back to McQuay, who was out of position. But South Sudan make the possession count. And tip the team over to 100 points with 2 minutes and 15 seconds left to go before the end of this game. It's been an absolutely dominant performance by South Sudan, 100 to 53. And you can see they're trying to slow the game down now. No danger of a comeback. <laughs> Emmanuel Malou doing his chin-ups with the Nyayo National Stadium <laughs> gymnasium basketball rim. Nice entry pass there. Nice left layup for number 23. And oh, my baby, a positive. He had to go out. He noticed the bandage on his left arm. He had to get it stitched up. I think one of the exciting things about tournaments like this, uh, Fidel, is that it's also a great scouting opportunity um, for other teams within the region. Like, I think Abebe would be a very good addition to um, teams outside of Richia. Yeah. Let him get recruited and have yeah. exposure to competitive leagues, which ultimately would increase his level of play. And um, I really hope that people notice which players who are not already playing professionally in, in abroad yeah. are available and seeing if they can bring them on board. Jim's side slowly making their way to the free throw lane. What belies the scoreline at the moment is the heart that this, this Eritrean side has played with both games. They lost terribly yesterday against Kenya, 112-64. to They're losing this game also by a big margin, but at the same time, you can't question their spirit. You can't question their desire. They've really come out to compete. And you have to understand, this is their first major tournament since their independence in 1991. So credit to them, kudos to them. And kudos to their federation for oh, yes. being able to organize themselves and get a, a good team out here to Kenya. Nice hesitation dribble there by Ball. Ball is just running up the scoreline at this point. 33 seconds to go. 109 to 55. Nice turnaround jumper from Aaron Zacharias. Can connect. And what a way to end this game. John Cor Mangistu showing us over and over again why. I mean, <laughs> the dunking average of South Sudan, I would say what? 20 dunks? No, 15 dunks. 15 dunks. Keep it right here on a Mad Goat TV.